Uh, hi, this is Vitek from Envitronics. Uh, this is my uh, recent uh, weekend project, which did not involve any electronics uh, for change. Uh, it's a disk sender I I decided to build, and uh, I used just uh, scrap pieces I have around, and uh, I was trying to figure out how much it's gonna cost me. And um, well, the total the total cost was twenty two dollars and sixty cents, uh, and eighteen dollars, almost twenty dollars of it was uh, a disc. I could not find a twelve inch disc. I ended up buying fourteen, which was the only one available, and uh, that was close to twenty dollars. And uh, I spent another couple bucks on the T nuts and uh, switch, and the rest is just uh, scrap uh, lying around. Uh, I use a quarter horsepower motor, uh, AC motor, which I have. I have a few of few of those salvaged from discarded appliances, and uh, the motor. As a shaft extending on a both ends, this end is shorter, the other end it's a little bit longer, had a pulley in it, and uh, there was a, a U-shape uh, mount with the clamps. And these pieces, they are inserts, and they have a rubber in it, so I thought, you know, they, 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 they will be good enough. So I removed the metal clamping, and I cut the holes on the boat sides of the box and that's a housing um, after I finish building box I made a back piece I cut a back piece I uh, figure at the time that will be 12 for 12 inch disc and uh, the back piece it's actually two separate pieces and it's uh, fastened from the inside so once I remove one of the sides of the box I can unscrew it and take this part out just in case if I need the access to uh, a flange or a, or a, any any maintenance. And then after I <coughs> I build the guard, the arch, I just cut uh, small pieces. Uh, actually, I didn't do any mat. I just look at it and I thought, you know, I'll just go with about four four five degree. Finally, I. I decide upon four degree and and uh, I uh, nail them to the the back piece and then I was setting pieces, putting the glue, putting the next one and putting one nail in here and one nail down and uh, I just kept looking so the arch won't be crooked and I was just adding pieces and when I get to the end I found that I have to uh, trim eight of an inch of the last piece in order to fit nicely so actually wasn't wasn't bad and like I said I didn't care much about the overall appearance I just used the uh, scraps whatever I had and uh, next part I I made this table and uh, the way it's fastened it's uh, I found a piece of a piano hinge and uh, I cut the slots and uh, they are a quarter inch uh, threaded rods and I have a T-nut on the other side. No, actually no, sorry, I have a washer and a uh, and, uh, uh, nylon uh, nut on the other side and uh, these are cut out of the scrap pieces of plywood and press the T-nut in it and they will they will hold together originally I have a, a washer in between but I found that it's not enough friction and the table under the pressure have a tendency to drop so um, what I did uh, I cut uh, with a hole so I cut a round piece of a quarter inch uh, uh, plywood and uh, and this holds nicely and there's enough friction and actually I have to 
I have to use quite a bit of pressure to drop this drop this down but I know it's not gonna drop accidentally on me when I'm when I'm sanding and uh, these holes are for ventilation and also uh, it's about the center of gravity it's about here so it's easy to grab it and, and carry around um, the front piece uh, it can be unscrewed and taken out including the the uh, top so the disc can be changed it's uh, uh, self adhesive uh, disc which you just peel the paper and and uh, and put it on actually the way I did it uh, I have only the bottom piece removed and the table was on and I was able to put the disc I just removed the uh, half of the paper and uh, put the pa put the disc on it and uh, then I just pulled the paper from from the upper part and and push the push the rest so it worked pretty good and uh, I found that the quarter horsepower that's a quarter horsepower uh, 1750 rpm 110 AC uh, motor and I found the quarter horsepower it's plenty enough perhaps if uh, someone wants to build a disc sander with a belt sander combined uh, I would advise to go a little higher like third or even half but there is no absolutely no need to go like a horse one horsepower it's a, it's a overkill for for such thing and uh, I'll just quickly turn this on and I am not running uh, dust collector with it because will be too much noise the dust collector is two horsepower motor so it will be too noisy I just want to show you how how this works better but they didn't have any 80 and um, probably 80 will be ideal and uh, there is no need to go uh, any higher than than that because this is like for a rough sanding uh, not for final sanding at least that's what I'll be using this for anyway that's pretty much all for today and uh, like I said it was about, was about 10 hours and uh, uh, including drying time uh, for glue and I I just put some uh, shellac on, on top nothing fancy but works fine and that's what I was looking for thank you for watching